guys! I'm back and you are back on my channel. For those who are new on my channel, hi guys! It's Nika and thank you so much for clicking this video. And since you're already here on my channel, might as well click the subscribe button and the bell button so you'll get notified whenever I post a video. So for today's video guys, this will be a Ray Hermar Made Me Try These products. And if you want to know the products that I will be trying, just please keep on watching. Yes, you heard it right. I will be trying out the product that Ray Hermar has been raving about in her previous vlogs and previous videos. So I have been a follower or subscriber of Ray Hermar since she has less than 50,000 subscribers and I am so, so, so in love with her. Sobrang gusto gusto ko si Ray Hermar. Na hook ako agad sa first video niya, which is the Black Friday haul. And nag-subscribe agad ako sa channel niya kasi she's just so freaking pretty. Ang ganda-ganda niya with or without makeup. She's just so fine. So, sobrang, sobrang siya yung girl crush ko in YouTube. That's why sobrang nanonood talaga ako ng mga vlogs niya and sobrang support ko yung mga vlogs niya. I watch every vlogs kahit umaabot ng 30 minutes, 25 minutes yung kanya mga vlogs. Anyway, we're not here to talk about that. We are here to talk about the products na ginagamit ni Ray Hermar on her previous vlogs or video logs. And yes, yeah, sobrang na curious ako dun sa dalawang product from a brand and I wanna try it and I wanna share my opinion with you as well guys. So yes, we will be trying out the Face Republic. This is it. We will be trying out the Face Republic's Sun Gel and the BB Cream. So Ray Hermar has been raving about these two sa mga vlogs niya ever since tinry niya tong product na to. And yon sabi ko, I wanna try it then kasi I'm into BB Cream. So parang sobrang ganda ng mga explanation niya about the BB Cream and the Sun Gel. And yes guys, we will be trying this out and I will share my thoughts and opinions about this too. Guys, we will be talking about this Sun Gel or Sunscreen. So, tamang-tama si Ray Hermar. The packaging is really freaking cute. It's matte. So, this Sun Gel, I got it for 500 pesos. Anyway, walang sponsor dito. So, binili ko to with my own money. And I tried these products once pa lang. So, sinadya ko talaga tong dalawang to sa SM Santa Rosa. Kasi dito sa may SM Calamba na malapit sa amin, walang I know walang Face Republic. So, pumunta SM Santa Rosa kasi I know meron doon. Sa 500 pesos, meron kang 50 ml ng product and after 7 months, kailangan mo na siyang palitan. So, this one has the SPF 50+. plus. So, just a little information about Sanjel and Sunscreen, guys. Nagbasa ko ng articles, I watch different vlogs and different YouTube videos about sunscreen. And yes, super important ng sunscreen on a daily basis even if nasa loob ka ng bahay because inside your home, mayroon mga UV rays na you have to protect your skin from. So, yung Sanjel na nakikita natin 50+, plus dito, right here, Makikita nyo, meron ditong 50 plus and lahat tayo or most of us or mga beginners will think na oh, yung 50 plus is actually the protection that you will get from the sunscreen. But the 50 plus indicates how many times you have to reapply sunscreen. The SPF 50 plus, SPF 20 plus plus plus, 10 plus plus plus, it doesn't mean the amount of protection that you'll get from the sunscreen. For example, kasi it's scientifically proven that it takes 10 minutes before our skin actually gets burned under the sun. So, ang sabi nila is kung may SPF 50 ka, you have to times it by 10 minutes. Kasi yung scientifically proven, scientifically proven na you have to reapply sunscreen. So, 50 times 10, you got 500 minutes. 50 is from the SPF and 10 minutes is a scientifically proven kung gaano kabilis mawala ang sunscreen on the skin or kung gaano kabilis tayo maburn under the sun. So, 50 times 10 is 500 minutes which is around siguro mga 6 hours or 5 hours. More, more or less 5 hours, yun yung times or yun yung coverage ng sunscreens. For, so, for this one, it lasts on your skin for almost 5 hours. Hours and after five hours, you have to reapply. Just a little disclaimer or just a little information, just a little information for you guys out there. Because ako den personally, I didn't know about it because I thought 50 plus 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 means that I am protect protected all day long. But that doesn't mean it. It means the time that you have to reapply your sunscreen. So we will be trying this out, guys. And to be honest. Gusto ko dapat i-try yung Bure, Bure na, na sunscreen or sun gel kasi yun yung pinatry ko sa kuya ko sa Japan. And to be honest, nag-lighten yung skin niya after kasi di ba pag siman ka, you tend to, nab nabibilid ka sa araw. So, pinatry ko yun sa kanya and now, sobrang ganda na ng balat niya, hindi na siya sobrang dark. 
So, gusto ko sana itry yun, kasi 500 pesos din naman siya, 450. But then, sabi ko, gusto ko naman ito itry, para I can create a video about it. Sinishake ko siya, kasi when I first use this one, sobrang watery niya, as in it's not gel. So, baka kailangan ko siyang ishake. Sobrang liquid din yan. Naririnig mo yung flow ng liquid inside. So, guys, I already have my kilay on because I look freaking shit without kilay on. So, nagkilay na ako. So, I will be trying this out. Nag-moisturizer lang ako. So, I don't have... I don't have anything on my face right now. It's just my kilay on. So, tatry na natin to. So, it's not transparent. It's yellowish. For me, ha, it's yellowish. Hindi siya transparent, hindi siya white, it's yellowish. Mukha siyang white on cam, but in person, hindi siya white, it's yellowish. Para siyang dirty yellow. And for me, it doesn't look like a gel. Kasi I thought ang consistency niya is like really a gel, which is yung gel is not runny, it's kind of thick, di ba? Pero this one, it's not a gel for me. It looks like para siyang cream na may tubig, ganun yung itsura niya. Pero guys, the smell is so freaking nice. So, tatry na natin siya dito. Hindi talaga ako na sa sunscreen, guys. Umaasa lang ako sa protection na binibigay ng BB cream every time I go out. Kasi, meron namang SPF ang mga BB creams. And yun na talaga yung ginagamit ko. So, guys, as Ray Hermar claimed, it's really glowy. Ang glowy. I can go out wearing sunscreen. Sobrang glowy. Ay, when it's glowy, it's glowy. Ang ganda. To be honest guys, sobrang na-amaze ako nung una ko siyang tinry. Kasi sobrang na-disappoint ako sa consistency niya. But nung tinry ko siya on the skin, girl, ang glowy. Parang kaya ko umalis ng bahay na ito lang. And then, I'm good to go. Ito lang and kilay, I'm good to go. Sobrang glowy. Sorry, tumitingin ako doon. May salamin ako doon. Talaga nakikita agad yung glow on the highest point of my cheeks. It's not tacky. It's not sticky. It's normal. Para lang ako naglagay ng moisturizer. I look so dewy on cam. Parang basa-basa yung mukha ko, pero hindi siya basa. Oh my God. So, Ray Hermar, thank you so much for reviewing this product. I love you. <laughs> Alright now, guys. We are done with the sunscreen. And yes, it's super duper glowy. And sobrang excited ako kung ano yung itsura niya. Once na pinatuan ko na siya ng BB cream. Kasi guys, the BB cream is really glowy as well. So guys, now we will be proceeding with the BB cream from Face Republic as well. And just like the sunscreen, matte yung interface niya or matte yung packaging niya. It has flowers right here. And it says, perfect cover BB cream. And this one has no SPF++, no SPF 50++. Walang ganun. So guys, also, an information, um, when you have an SPF 50++ sunscreen and then you have a BB cream, for example, this BB cream has SPF 20++, hindi mo siya pwede ipag-plus yung, yung protection na nakukuha mo and times it by 10. All you have to do is pick up or pick out the largest or the highest number of SPF. Then yun lang yung times mo sa 10. So if this has 20 and this has 50, ito pa rin yung times mo sa 50. Or sa 10. So yun. Kung naintindihan nyo yun, thank you. Kung hindi nyo naintindihan, <laughs> hindi ko alam. So we will be trying this out as well. And sinishake ko rin siya kasi nung tinry ko nga to, yung consistency niya is hindi rin sobrang ganda. So baka kailangan ko siyang ishake. Kasi isang beses ko pa lang naman to na try. For the BB cream, I got this for only 600 pesos which is kinda expensive for a BB cream. Kasi alam niyo yung BB cream na ginagamit ko, it's Eye White Korea and it's only 179 pesos though nagtaas siya. Pero... Mura talaga yung Eye White Korea and sobrang tagal na nun sa... Ang tagal na, tumatagal siya sa akin ng 3 months, 5 months for 180 pesos and sobrang dewy din nun. And this one is 600 freaking pesos for only 40 ml. So, medyo maunti yung laman niya for me for 600 pesos. Kasi yung 600 pesos makakabili ka na ng magandang drugstore foundation just like Maybelline L'Oreal and LA Girl. So, ang mahal niya for, ano, pero anyway, let's try it. So, lalagay ko lang ulit siya dito. Oh, kailangan ko nga siyang ishake. And then, guys, I highly suggest na huwag niyong bibiglain yung pag-pinch ng product kasi sobrang daming lumalabas sa bottle niya kasi ang laki ng butas niya. Yung consistency niya, guys, is more of a foundation. Yung color niya, it's yellow undertone, which is perfect for Asian skin or for Filipino skin. Okay naman siya. Mukha talaga siyang foundation for me, ha. It's not more of a BB cream. It's more of a foundation looking for me, ha? Pero let's try sa skin. So, on this side of my face, gagamitin ko lang ang aking kamay to blend kasi 
ganun lang ako pag BB cream. It's more on my kamay na ipinambiblend ko. On this side of my skin, I will be using a sponge. Kasi sabi ni Ray Hermar, it's better with a sponge. So, let's try it with my hand first. For me, guys, it's kinda sticky and I feel so oily nung ginagamit ko siya. Na parang it's more of an oil-based. Ayan, sobrang glowy, guys. Kung gusto nyo talaga ng dewy and glowy look, go for this one. Grabe, this one is really perfect with the sunscreen. Face Republic, you're doing a freaking great job. Glowing you right here. And now guys, for me ha, it's okay naman. It's perfectly blended using your fingers. Kasi ganun lang talaga ako. If you're that kind of girl na you don't really want to use brushes, go with your fingers. And hindi naman siya super puti ha. Hindi siya super puti. Yung finish niya, it's not super sheer. It's medium. Sobrang medium nung sheer niya kasi nawala ng konti yung veins ko right here. But then, the feeling is like foundation. Para ako naka-foundation sa feeling ko rito. It's heavy on the face. For me, it's heavy on the face. Kasi sanay ako na sheer coverage plus yung eye white lang yung ginagamit ko as a BB cream. And sobrang heavy niya compared to eye white. Now, I'll be using a sponge to blend this part. Hindi kasi ko mahilig gumamit ng sponge kasi pinakain niya lang yung product. So, sayang yung product. So guys, as you can notice, mas maputi tong area ang to because it was blended by my fingers. Champ! Sobrang puti na area ang to or mas maputi siya compared here kasi blended to by fingers and this one is by sponge. So yung ibang product is nandito sa sponge, mas maunti yung coverage niya. This one is super sheer coverage. Like that, kita niyo pa yung veins ko dito. Ayan, yung veins. Nakikita niyo yung veins ko. Pag di niyo nakita, bala na kayo. But guys, the glow. The glow, guys. <laughs> Yun talaga yung hinabol ko dito. Kasi sabi nga niya, it's really glowing. It's really, really dewy. And yun yung gusto ko sa mga makeups. Na dewy and glowy lang siya. And super pasado sa akin yung glowiness and dewiness nung product. But the feeling na meron akong something on my skin. Sobrang maganda yung products, guys. As in, sobrang ganda nila when it's combined. Kasi sobrang dewy nila. As in, ang layo ng salamin ko right here. And kitang-kita ko yung glowiness ng aking face. Yung vanity ko kasi yun nandun. And it has lights on it. So kapag tumitingin ako sa kanya, it's glowy. As in, it's glowy. Guys, sobrang glowy. Sobrang dewy. Wala ko masabi. Pero guys, if you want to have that lightweight uh, feeling on the face, this one's not for you. Kasi it's super heavy on my face. And now guys, test naman natin siya in terms of blendability ng mga products na ipapatong mo sa kanya. So I will be using this uh, paint box from Bench. This is a pretty one tinch. And itatry natin kung blendable ba yung products kapag naglagay tayo sa cheek area. Or mamove ba yung foundation. So let's try. Sobrang glowy, no? Sobrang kinis din ng finish niya, guys. As in. So in terms of blendability ng products na ilalagay mo sa kanya, if you top it, of course, hindi mag-move yung product. And it's super blendable. Guys, the glowiness, hindi siya natatakpan. And guys, noong unang tinry ko to, lumabas ako with my college friends and sabi nila ang kinis ko daw. Guys, in terms of blendability of the tint, hindi nag-move yung product a bit. Hindi na wala yung glowiness ng aking skin. So guys, I will be just finishing up my makeup and I'll be right back. And guys, we are done talking about this two little cutie stuff right here. Vita BB Cream one is kind of heavy on the face, but the sun gel is really perfect if you want to have a freaking glowy skin. Pag pinag-combine mo sila, sobrang ganda ng glow na binibigay nila on the skin. I didn't set my face with any powder. Gumamit lang ako ng tint. I didn't set my face with anything. It's not sticky at all. It Ito yung tipo ng base na hindi ka talagang magpopolvo. Kasi you wanna retain the glow. Wala akong highlighter. And that's it guys. And thank you so much guys for watching this video. And I hope you enjoy and like it. And if you like it, please give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe on my channel. Click the bell button so you'll get notified whenever I post a new video. Thank you so much guys for watching this video. And I see you on my next one. Bye! So for today's video guys, this will be a Ray Hermar made me try try. And since you're already her, her today. And yes, guys, and kung naririnig yung ing, aircon yun, ing kasi. <coughs> Hindi na wala yung glow, glow eh. <laughs>